right. How you doing, folks? It's Ryan here at the Louisiana Academy of Performing Arts with you once again for a tech video. And today we're going to be talking about the Allen & Heath SQ5 and our Com and Talkback setup. Um, someone had previously requested um, some information on how to get Talkback working, so I'm going to show you what we do here. Um, we recently revamped our Talkback system. This is something we've kind of worked our way up towards. We've used all kinds of systems in the past. We've done walkie-talkies, Bluetooth. We've tried all kinds of things. And this is nice because it's all integrated now and it makes life a lot easier, especially with larger shows that we're doing now. I'll show you the um, unit that we went with, and that's the SolidCom M1 system. Very portable comes with eight headsets and it's really ready to go right out of the box. So you just turn it on, the headphones sync up to it. There's some options for putting them on different channels if you want to have groups of people. Didn't really get into any of that yet. Um, it has some extra batteries and it comes in one big case too. Um, previously, some of the older reviews I think show two cases. So I was glad to see it arrived in one case and has really large antennas too which you can't see right now but rest assured the range is really good we've tried it in a few theaters haven't had any dropouts or any issues it also comes ready to mount on a lighting stand versus a mic stand which i thought was a little odd since it's an audio product but hey um, i had a lighting stand so that's okay but just be aware of that you know, as far as getting it integrated with the SQ5, or really any mixer that has matrices or, you know, it's advanced enough to kind of route things, you need this cable here. I'll show you this cable. There it is. So you have an Ethernet uh, on one end, which is plugged in the section called 4-wire here. On the other ends, you have the XLR male and female. And you can make these. There are tutorials to do that. I didn't have that kind of time. So, yes, I just bought it from, I think, got it from Adorama. I think I got all of this from Adorama. So. And it works great. It looks a little funky. Um, looks kind of not really homemade, but, you know, it doesn't look factory made, I guess. Um, but it works great. When you're getting this set up, if you decide to go with the system, and this isn't really a review of this system, I'm just showing you um, what we're using because I'm enjoying it. It's working pretty nicely. You hold this middle button down, and that gets you into the setup. Go over to the four wire, and you need to do this order switch. And you need to change it to pin three out. So now that we have the four wire all set up, next we want to connect the cables uh, to the SQ5. So for the input, I've just selected a random channel, channel 15, and I've named it COM return, so that when everyone is talking back to me, that's where it's going. And you can see here, this is my microphone right now. This is also the um, microphone I use for talkback. Okay, and then for outputs, I've set up a COM aux. And I've put that on channel 7. We can take a look at that over here, actually. So the two auxes that we have set up are the broadcast aux and the com aux. Broadcast is what you are hearing right now. Um, it has my microphone. It has a mix of all the different mics and instruments, generally, that would be recorded. And pretty much everything that uh, the audience would hear. Uh, we don't have the com return in there, right? Because we don't want to record that usually. Um, we will do that later just so you can get an idea of the sound quality. And in the COM aux, the only thing that we have there is the COM return fader up. We don't really use the comms to monitor the microphones or music of any kind just because they're not really built for that. They are okay for voice or just, you know, some dialogue. That's what they're built for. If you want to just kind of check a lavalier mic or something like that, just to make sure you're getting signal, 
they're fine for that. It'll sound great. However, listening to music or trying to, you know, get a critical recording mix or something like that is just not going to be a good experience for you. And honestly, that's one of the reasons that I use high quality headphones and did this whole setup so that I can both communicate and hear the recording quality and you know mix what I need to mix and that kind of thing. Previously, I was pulling off my good headphones with the venue's headset to communicate and then I put my headphones back on or we'd have a walkie-talkie or something. So now it's all integrated and that's wonderful. All right, so now, as promised, uh, we're going to go ahead and listen to a headset, um, just so you can get an idea of the audio quality on the headset. And we're going to put it here in the broadcast mix, where it usually would not be. I'm going to mute my microphone here, and I'll talk to you on the headset now. And it might be a little bit noisier than usual. I have some other wireless stuff going on in here right now. But let's take a sample. All right, now you are hearing me on the wireless headset, and uh, yeah, this is a test on the headset. Uh, this headset has a microphone that you have to pull down in order for it to activate. If it's um, all the way up, um, it will not relay your voice. Um, it also has a push to talk button, of course. Um, so again, this is a sample of the audio from the actual headset of the unit. All right, this concludes our test. I'm going to go back to the regular mic. The last step in our setup is combining the broadcast mix with the comm mix so that in my headphones I can hear everything that I need to hear, recording plus uh, communicating uh, with all of the operators. And that's the whole reason that we are doing this in the first place. So uh, the way to do that is through a matrix. And if you refer back to our channel, we do have another video on setting up a matrix, which was more for a single mix with at different volumes in different destinations. However, this one, we will actually be combining two aux mixes. So to get there, we'll go to the mix tab. And if you look at the end here, we have one called phones. We'll go to routing, click on that, and uh, you'll see that we have our com aux set pre-fader, as well as our broadcast mix set pre-fader. And I have them both uh, set to unity. That way they're equally combined in my headphones. And then uh, when we go to the patching section here, the important thing to note is that in my local outputs, I have channel five and six out going to only my headphone amplifier, okay? When I record, I can record on channel three and four, the broadcast um, aux directly here. And I also record over Dante, aux three and four, and five and six. Again, that's all direct, so no talkback is going into those. And also, if I want to do USB, I have channel 5 and 6 recorded here. So really, the only time we are getting the uh, matrix is in the local 5 and 6 outputs. And I know this can be... A little confusing, but just keep in mind that we have several ways to get the sound out of the board, and the local XLR outs are just one of those ways. So I hope that was interesting and a good use of your time, um, as far as however many minutes you spent uh, listening to me and watching this video. If it was helpful, hey, why not like the video? Maybe you could subscribe to the channel. That's always appreciated. Um, and if you have any questions, let us know. We'll do our best to answer them. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.